Hello, we are on page six of Home for the Holidays. Now this page is kind of a work in progress. I've been doing prototypes and I've done like five of them and I'm still not sure if the last one is actually going to work because I am running out of cards and experiments and so we're just going to work through it and just hope it works. I think it will, but we'll see. But first, what you're going to do is you've already done your doors 1, one through 10. So now you're going to go back to your door page from the 12 by 12 and you're going to cut your doors. Obviously, these aren't the ones you're going to cut. You're going to cut 11 through 20. And just a reminder, when you're cutting the doors, see the, the shadow around the bottom and the, the side here? Make sure when you're cutting, you're cutting out that shadow because you want to have a shadow around the edge of the door and down here. So you're going to do that. Here's my door 20 that I just, I hand cut it. So what I have to do now is I'm going to round my corners. So I have my little corner rounder. This is such a great one. If you guys don't have a great corner rounder, this does small, medium, and large size. So I'm going to stick it in the small one. Did I get that in? Yeah. Then, now for this, I am actually going to be using black soot because we are making shadows around this door. So I'm going to get some black soot. And when you're doing the shadow part, as you cannot see, you're adding the shadow. You're kind of brushing in that shadow. Make sure you get the line so there's no white cardstock. Now, when you get to the top, don't really do, need to do the shadowing, just a line so you get rid of that white cardstock. And then shadow, 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 shadow. So that's number 20. So that was with black soot. And then after you get your doors done, you're going to cut out 11 through 20 of the 12 by 12, you know, this page that has all these cut aparts. So this page. <laughs> So 11 through 20. Here's number 20. I still need to round my corners. I hand cut them. I just don't trust myself with my trimmer. So I'm going to do my smalls all the way around here. Now this one I do ink it with Vintage Photo. We have a golden type border and we just want to kind of bring out that golden border. Okay, make sure that white pore is knocked out. Got it. So that is card number 20. So that that's kind of, it doesn't take a long time. It's just, just be patient and have fun. Look at the pictures when you're cutting them. I actually enjoy this because it's, it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's
So basically we are going to be doing a page just like page three. So remember page three was this where we made our little flap for our doors. So we are going to reproduce that. So we're going to redo a, this flap. It's five and a half inches this way and almost eight, just a little tad less than eight inches tall. And this is going to be our flap. It's going to be just like page three. So we're going to be placing our flap here so it opens up this way. So this is top of page six. So before I attach it, I want to go ahead and design this, put all my pockets in this, this um, part here. So let me get this out of the way. So what you're going to do, just like the other last time, you're going to fold this score line in. This is going to be attached to the album here. I'll be putting my score tape here. But we're going to be adding our half inch strips, just like we did with the other one. But this time we're going to be using the green solid. So you're going to be adding your half inch strips here. And then you're going to be cutting your pockets. Remember these little pockets you had one that was five inches this way and one and a half inches tall and then you score it half an inch on each side and then you lay that down at the bottom. Then you get four of these pockets that are again five inches long but one and three quarter inches tall and then you score them on each side and then remember you put them in your I put them in the scoreboard to mark the half inch mark on the top and the bottom and then we cut from that half inch mark to the corner here if you don't remember how to do that just re I have already done these just review the the video um, of of page what was it page three was it page three yes like page three and you can see how to do these again so remember these pockets are going to be fitting snugly in the bottom pockets and then we're just going to build our pockets up like that so review page you know the video for page three if you don't remember how to make these pockets so i'm basically just going to be adding my two half inch strips to this flap remember this is the inside part of the flap this is the outside <laughs> you're going to be building your your pockets for your doors on the inside part and then be adding our our little pockets so I'm going to do that and then I will be back okay so the pockets are all in and I cut our little um, designer paper that goes over the pockets and these are they measure around three and seven eighths not quite four inches by one and a half and I did it red um, polka dot red green oops red polka dot red gold green polka dot you just don't want to put the red behind a red door or a green behind the green door so that's the combo color I came up with and then so this is ready to be attached into our our page so I'm going to put the score tape here and then I will put it in the page the album so we got all our pockets and our designer paper in 
I put our doors back in um, just to see how they fit and I cut this little wishing you Christmas cheer. I cut it out from the eight by eight cut aparts. I just used my circle punch, my one and a quarter inch circle punch to cut this out. So it's the same thing, only this is from the eight by eight. This is the 12 by 12, obviously. And then I backed it with um, a, a die that is one and a half inches circle with the stitching around it. So that's what I put down there. And now we're ready to attach it to our album. So I got my score tape, I mitered my corners. I'm going to be applying it right here. I always put white underneath so I can see better. And that will be applying that right here. And then this will be opening up. So I will be back as soon as I get this attached. Okay, so we have our flap in. I'm not going to be making booklets for these doors. I want to keep this relatively flat and not have so much bulk. So what I'm going to do, like here's door number 11. This is where I'm going to be just adding little photos of, of little munchkins um, from the family that are just too cute. So those will go in here. So this is done. This pocket's done. We're going to be doing this. We have to decorate this page. What I chose for this was, this is from the 8x8. Eight eight. We used this in the front of the album. Um, the very first page, but we're going to use it here also. But I'm going to be covering up this. And I'm going to be covering it up with, this is a circle die cut with stitching. This is four and a half inches. And it's just white cardstock. This is just from my stash, from another Christmas collection. But it's not like you're even going to be seeing the snowflakes because it's going to be covered with this which is a circle die cut which is four inches so this is four and a half this is four inches and that's going to go like that this is just craft cardstock plain old craft cardstock I thought it looked better than the gold um, to go with this so plain old craft cardstock and I thought this would be a real pretty place to add a photo, of, you know, from your family uh, right here. It would be really pretty. But we're not going to attach all these yet, number one, because we need to add some kind of closure. So I always forget my magnets. And I don't want to forget my magnets this time. So everything has already been cut and inked. So it is ready to go on. And then I'll attach this. But I want to make sure I get my magnets on first. So we have to work on this uh, outside flap and figure out how where we're going to put our magnets. So I'll be right back. So let's see what we've got. So this has not been adhered down because we need to figure out our magnets, but I adhered these two circles down. Um, so it's been trimmed and inked. Now for the front here. This piece, which is the same as the counterpart over here. This is the 8x8 eight eight collection. This is the 12x12. What you're going to do is cut out this corner, which is basically this upper right-hand corner. No, upper left-hand corner. And you are going to apply it here. You're going to, if you need to trim it off at the bottom, trim it off at the bottom. Don't trim it off at the top. The sleigh, the little sled was down here and 
mine basically is gone after I trimmed it, so you can't even tell it was there. That's going to be fitting here, like this. That does not look good, I know. But what we're going to do is we are going to get this card from the 12 by 12. You're going to use this side. You're going to cut it, ink the edges, round the corners, and you're going to mat it on black cardstock. And eventually you're going to mat the back side with the craft cardstock. So it's going to be really reinforced. That's going to go right here. So we're basically covering up a house. See, doop, doop, cover up the house. And we need to cover up this. So you are going to be getting this cut apart from the 12 by 12. And then you're going to mat it on um, this. This is a, a die. And this is how, long, how big? This is three and a half inches. Three and a half inches. You're going to be matting that on, on here. And you're going to be eventually matting the green on the back like that. But what this is going to do, we're going to be placing this right here so it covers up this part. So this, this card is covering up the house. And now we have this do, 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 covering up the inner circle like this. So then this page kind of the, the blues and the scenery match over in here. But now it's like, where do we put the magnet? I was originally going to put the magnets here and here. Um, or I could put it, ooh, I can't put it, could I put it here and down here? Let's see. I do not want these. <laughs> This whole thing, which is so thick, I do not want it in contact with the magnets at all. I think I might just put it under this circle, and I'll use one of my large ba basic gray magnets. One of these large basic gray magnets. Um, and so that'll give it extra strength. And I don't believe, let's see, if I put it here, will it interfere with this. No. I just don't want to add more bulk with the magnet in this. So I think we'll be clear there. So what I'm going to do is um, get, get this matted to this. I'm going to place a magnet and then I'm going to cover up my magnet with this. And then once I get this all affixed and down and this down, then I can figure out where to put the magnet under this piece. So that's what we're going to do. So what you're going to do is get this card, cut it round the corners, ink it, Mat it on black cardstock just to give it some more um, strength. And then on the back side, you're going to use the craft. Because remember, when you turn this flap over, when you turn this flap over, you will be seeing the card. So you're going to be seeing the craft, the craft paper. 
And when you turn the card over, you're going to be seeing the back side of this, and you're going to be seeing a little bit of green like that. So this all looks nice. The color combo looks all nice. So get everything prepared and get this cut out and measure it. Remember, cut from the bottom and cut from the side here. Do not cut from the top or from this side. We want to hide as much of the house as we can. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I have the card matted on the back. This is the side that's going to go up. So it kind of mirrors this flower here. Not that it really matters. <laughs> this one could be mirroring this flower, but let's see what looks better. I just like this one. It doesn't really matter. This is one and one eighth inch from the top, one and one eighth inch from the bottom. Um, and what is it from the side? It is one and seven eighths from the side here. So what I did, I just, I just kind of got it there, laid it out, turned this over, oops, and I, if you have it laid out and you know where it is, and you turn it over, you can just put, draw a line, I, I drew it straight. <laughs> I drew a line, so that means I do not apply any glue or I'm going to be using tape. I'm just going to be putting tape on this area, not over here, so that's going to be fixed like that. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to adhere that. And then we will be back with our birdie and the magnet. So got this card in, and this is how it looks on this side here. So you have that um, craft paper color here. So now we need to work on our bird. So here's our bird. He's been matted on the craft circle. I put his, his, <laughs> I put the magnet right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. Should I use glue? Oh my god. I'll just use glue. I should put a little piece of tape over this magnet. Where is my tape here? So make sure I'm doing this right. I'm going to put this tape on. I'm going to glue this down. And then I'm going to adhere it to here. I'm going to find where that magnet kind of catches with here. So it's about right there. And then I will apply my other magnet underneath this paper. I think I got it. So let me go ahead and put the, I put tape over that. I'm going to use, which glue should I use? I'm going to use my beacons. I have so many glue choices. I like beacons because it, it dries fast but not real fast. It gives me a lot of slippery control. And it doesn't wrinkle the paper. It's got that acetone smell to it, so it, it pretty much evaporates um, pretty fast from the paper. 
so many choices. So I'm going to put my backing on. out that might be in there. So now I need to fix this to here. We need to cover this up, but I think about right there would be good. A little bit higher. Don't want to go too far in this way because your magnet, you, your magnet needs to clear um, this, obviously, and I want it to clear at least the craft paper. So I feel my magnet right there. So I am going to affix this. And we want this to cover the ends of that circle. So I am going to fill that again. So I'm going to make my little tick marks here and here. And I am going to, this is where I'm going to stop, stop. And then I'm going to open it up, and that's how much reveal we have. And that's okay. That looks better. So I think that will be okay. So that's going to be my line, so when I come back, I can make sure it's lined up and it's straight. So I am going to put my, I'm going to use tape, probably use tape on this guy just in case I screw it up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put tape back here, stop it where I made my line, stop where I made that line, because that's going to be showing on the back side. I'm going to put my tape here. My magnet is up in, up in here. So... Let me get that down and I'll be back. Okay, so we got um, our little birdie on. I transferred the magnet over. So we got our magnet closure there. So now I'm just going to adhere this piece of designer paper and we will be done with this page. 